Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita Nanwani here, your educator, mentor and friend. And uh, here we are with an INICT PYQ with a mnemonic to remember the same. So before we discuss that, a quick update about what's happening on the platform. So on the platform, uh, we have 20% uh, off, which is going on, which is valid only till April 15th. So the students who are preparing for the upcoming NEET PG exam 2024, you can take the nine months course, which or you can actually take a combo subscription, which is life plus vitals together. And at around uh, 19K, you need to use the code Dr. Nikita or any other code. Along with that, we have some courses on the Unacademy store as well. So store is basically where without the plus subscription, you can take these uh, individual courses as well. So we have launched uh, the short shot INICT course. So there are live classes going on. Uh, the short shot NEET PG classes are also available along with this. The short shot NEET PG 150 that we had taken before. And out of this, there were like more than 50 questions in the last INICT exam. So please make sure you watch all these before your INICT exam. For the FMG students, we have the last mile FMG preparation on the Unacademy store, which you can avail at 4319 again using the code Dr. Nikita. Apart from that, for all the students, we have the INICT All India mock test, which is coming up on April 16th at 9 a.m. Right, it's a free test. So assess your preparation by enrolling for the same. All right, so let's have a look at the question now. So this is a repeatedly asked topic in INICT, the types of glands, which of the following represents holocrine gland. Now, what is a holocrine gland? So remember that holocrine, as the term says, holo means whole. That means the whole of the cell gets destroyed during the secretion. So that is holocrine. The types of glands that we have is the merocrine gland, the apocrine gland, and the holocrine gland. Merocrine is also called as ecrine. From the term, we know that apo, apo means above. That means the tip of the cell is lost during the secretion. Holo means entire cell is gone. Merocrine, ecrine means only the secretions go out. So which is a holocrine gland? Sweat, memory, sebaceous, ceruminous. Remember sebaceous gland. You can remember this as holo means everything, matlab sub. Sub means sebaceous gland. Okay, that is sebaceous gland is a holocrine gland, right? And the memory gland is what kind of gland? So remember, apocrine A for A, apocrine glands are the ones near the axilla. So the sweat glands in the axilla, adjacent to axilla, we have the breast, that is the mammary gland. These are the apocrine glands. And we know that axilla, the secretion, foul smelling. So apocrine glands, the sweat glands, apocrine ones, they have foul smelling secretion. So similarly, the ceruminous glands, these are also the modified apocrine glands. Because the ecrine sweat glands, they are present in the area where there is no hair. So palms and soles. Apocrine axilla, hairy areas, we have the apocrine glands. So like the apocrine glands ka secretion, ceruminous glands, waxy secretion, right? It's not watery. Remember, ceruminous glands are modified apocrine glands. So all these are the quick tricks on the types of glands. I hope this helps you in remembering this topic. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Till then, keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Thank you.